Welcome to Entrust Music Service. This is lesson one of our whole class guitar programme. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on open strings. Remember that you can pause or rewind the video at any time if you want to have another go at playing the pieces. But before we start, you need to make sure that your guitar is roughly in tune, especially if it's been a while since you've played. If you're unsure of how to tune a guitar, then stop the video and go back to the Entrust YouTube channel and you'll find a help video there. Now that you've tuned your guitar, let's have a recap of how we hold our instrument. We can sit with the guitar either on our left knee or our right knee. Um, if I'm holding a classical guitar, I will sit with it on my left knee and I'll also raise my foot using a footstool. If you want to sit with it on your right knee, we can position it there. Make sure it doesn't slip off your knee. Sometimes I find it helpful to slightly raise the leg as well. But whichever way you use, just make sure you're sitting comfortably and nice and straight. We need to have our elbow over the top of the guitar and make sure our fingers are resting over the sound hole, no matter if you're finger picking like I am or using a pick. First of all, let's have a recap of our string names. So starting with our low string here, the one that's closer to our head, we can use the, the words Eddie, Eight, Dynamite, Good, By, Eddie. So we have E, A, D, G, B, and E. And today we're going to use our walking fingers, or if you wish to use a pick, please do so. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a warm-up exercise where I'm going to play a walking fingers on an open string. I'm going to give you time to copy that back to me. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. We're going to play four notes, and I'm going to use fingers I and M to go for those four notes, like this. And I'm going to give you time to copy that back. We're going to do that twice on each string on the high E, the B and the G. Okay, off we go. I hope you found that okay. Remember if you want to have a little bit more of a warm up you can go back and rewind the video and have another go at that before we move on. Okay now that we've warmed up our fingers we're going to move on and learn two pieces from one of our partners charanga.com. The first piece we're going to play today is called three string boogie and it uses our open strings high E, B, and G, and also using our walking fingers I and M, or again a pick if you prefer. I'm going to play to you the first four bars of the piece of music just to demonstrate for you. So for the first bar we have an open G and we have two short notes and a longer note, so two crotchets and a minim like this. The second bar moves on to the open note B and we have four crotchets starting on an M. And in the third bar the rhythm again is slightly different, we have a minim E followed by two crotchet Bs. And finishing our fourth bar on a semi-breathe G which we hold for four beats and the rest of for the rest of the piece the rhythms are generally the same as that using crotchets minims and some semi-breathes as well I'll play that for you again just so you can listen Okay, there is a backing track to this piece of music and your music will come up on the screen. The backing track has got an introduction and your part will be highlighted when it's your turn to play. Do your best to play along, you're going to hear it twice but remember you can always pause the video and rewind to go back and have another go.
the piece just before you move on just rewind the video so the second piece we're going to play today is called flamenco dancer the piece is going to use the same open strings e B and G. Well this time it's slightly different. There's only a short piece of written music for you to follow on the note B which is in the middle of the piece. You're going to play a long B followed by two short Bs and it'll be four times. So we have a mini B with our finger I followed by two crotchets I and M like this. And we're going to play that four times. I'll just play it twice for you. in the middle of the piece and again the score will come up on the screen. For the rest of the piece you're going to improvise on the open strings we've used today which is like E, B and G. By improvise it means that you're going to create your own tune and play along to the backing track. What is important in this piece is you're going to use your dynamics to play quietly and loudly as instructed in the backing track. Okay so have a go it'll play twice for you. this video at any time and play along with the tracks. So for practice this week, why not use your walking fingers or your pick across the first four open strings of the guitar and make up your own patterns. And don't forget to use dynamics too like in Flamenco Dancer and see how loud or quiet you can make your sounds. I hope you've enjoyed this session. We'll have a new one uploaded soon, so don't forget to click the subscribe button and join us next week for another whole class ensemble session. And don't forget you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.